WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a blustery, windy, kind of rainy Delray Beach, Florida. The exact kind of weather that Stevie hates out there. But this is your 11 a.m. update. And currently we have all the U.S. indices that you and I track trading to the upside. Dow's up 105 points, about three tenths percent. Four tenths for the S&P are 20 points. A quarter percent for the Nasdaq, 38. Two and two tenths percent for the Russell. 43 point move there. Three percent for the semis. They're up 122 points, one and seven tenths for the trannies, 268. We got a rally going. That rally extends itself into gold, which is run into resistance up at the top of a brand new profile. We'll give you uh, that data here momentarily. Silver also trading with inside its profile. It's up a nice 6% out there, but it's got resistance. Like we crude up $2.37, the natural gas up three pennies. 30 year treasury is up well, one point and 21 ticks, printing out at 123.10. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. No topping patterns in play. That says that it should target. Well, I think it does have a wave number seven pattern, if I'm not mistaken. Quick check here. Yeah, you've got wave number seven in the ES and inside the uh, Dow Equity Future contract. That requires a lower high in order to confirm that pattern. Short of that, price should go target. This is the ES Mini 48.94. Spot volatility still below its 50-day exponential moving average. That's always a positive for the bulls, or mostly a positive. In the case of the NASDAQ 100, its price target is the 16.975 level. That's its 1.272 Fibonacci expansion of its last set of swing points out there. The U.S. dollar index, if it closed, well, it's already negated a wave seven bottom and if it closes below the swing point out here this is the swing point from the trading session of november 29th price is likely to head lower now there's a weekly uh breakout area td9 count breakout level and we'll have to i'll find that during the uh, break here and report back to you we've got gold as i mentioned is trading into profile resistance out here it's been one heck of a nice move but not until price can close above that and this is a new profile that's attempting to form so i won't know till the end of the day but right now we know where sellers reside. They're at 2062.90. In the case of silver, they're out at 2457. In the case of light speed crude, you've got an A to B equals CD to the downside. No bullish reversal candle yet, but you do have a uh, a new profile that is formed out here. Support at 69.83, resistance at 75.28 or 77.44. You've got that TD9 count bottom inside of natural gas. It's got resistance up at the 245 level. The 30 year treasury is trading above the 1.272. A to B equals CD. Price projection level, its next area is up in the 126 range. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, but if you're off to start your Thursday, have a terrific one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.